What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Saturday afternoon in the new office here. Uh, pretty much got everything furnished. Uh, a lot of uh, videos are going to be coming up. Got the green screen on the side here. Uh, took me about a week to get everything in, get the desk and everything. Uh, you know, I consider this pretty much as flex space for the business and everything, but I'm going to still shoot a couple of videos uh, for all the Vinceaholics out there. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you guys today about, uh, you know, upcoming bodybuilding shows. Uh, you know, a lot of people have been asking me uh, what my opinion as far as the future of the show events due to the uh, cor uh, coronavirus. And this time I'm going to actually pronounce it instead of the cornea virus. So here's my thing on it there, and I'm going to just keep it real with you. Uh, I think it's going to be similar to the World Wrestling Federation in which the bodybuilding events will be in a empty stadium. Now, obviously, uh, the Mr. Olympia probably won't be done at the Mandalay Bay. The Mandalay Bay is going to be closed until probably 2021, or at least until a vaccine's made, which is going to take at least 18 months. So let's get serious here. What I suspect would happen is a much smaller venue uh, would be put in place, such as a school, for example. So you may actually see the Mr. Olympia at a gymnasium in a high school. Either that or a rented out hotel room, you know, because here's the thing, you're not going to need much space for the competitors. You need a pump room and you just need a stage and that's pretty much it. And you can still effectively have a show. Now, the biggest thing that's going to be in place and the source of revenue is going to be, uh, you know, video streaming. Uh, so that's got to have to be on point at, uh, at this point in time in the year. That includes for any possible upcoming shows, a lot of them are going to be canceled. So it's very important that, you know, they get the, they get the live stream. They can't, they can't screw it up this time. You know, they've been piddling around each and every year, but it's got to be on point this year. No glitches or anything like that. And that's very possible uh, to do, and that's very easy to do by just simply getting professional equipment. That's all that's got to be done, basically. Uh, but in terms of the shows are concerned, you know, there's nothing, there's not going to be an issue with competitions here. None at all. Uh, because you just need a minimum amount of people in order to actually, you know, do a bodybuilding show, just check, check temperatures before they come in so that way nobody else gets sick. Uh, and the benefit of that is, you know, you're going to have people that's going to qualify. And that's actually a good thing, you know. Uh, but other than that, you know, uh, it's going to be a really tight year, you know. Uh, but look on the bright side. Uh, you know, we still have, we're going to still have a very interesting year. There's still going to be some pretty good competitions as best as possible. Uh, just expect to see them virtually. You know, training is not going to be a real issue. A lot of the professional athletes have uh, their own gym gyms at home. My cousin Nico, he has his own gym because he plays in the uh, he plays baseball major league and everything. So he's built his own gym. So it's not really hard to build yourself a home gym in order to train. You don't need some multi million dollar gym. You know, I've done bodybuild. My last bodybuilding show I did right in a trailer. You know, with nothing more than weights. Uh, one of my total trainer machines that I sold, and a bicycle. You know, uh, along with some other uh, old car uh, exercise aerobic stuff that I got from the Goodwill. Because at the time I was working at Walmart and when you're making $7 and 25 cents an hour, you don't have, you know, uh, that much money And the gyms in Silver, North Carolina were horrible. So when there's a will, there's a way, you know, uh, if you look back in history, Melvin Wells, all he trained with was a bunch of boulders. He didn't even have weights. He had boulders. So, uh, as far as this little issue about, uh, getting in shape and training, you know, that's, that's, that's not going to be affected at all. You know, bodybuilders can still get their little massages and everything like that, and that's perfectly fine. 
Now, one thing uh, that's for sure, if you notice, I'm talking a little bit more quietly. I'm in an office here. It's downtown, you know? I can't just go hooting and hollering and screaming and yelling like a banshee or anything like that, you know? It, it's got to be quiet around here. So most of my filming is going to be done at nighttime once my key card actually works. It's not been working lately, but that's quite fine. But, you know, I want to let you guys know, you know, just my opinion. A lot of people have been asking about it, and I've not really commented on too much bodybuilding lately because I've had my own personal issues. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to try to keep the content red hot, you know, like Frank's. Um, and just keep things going. But as far as bodybuilding shows are concerned, uh, you can still expect to see the Mr. Olympia and a lot of the top shows. They just got to get a little bit more organized. They got to get the advertising done because you can still get advertising uh, through video streaming. But the most important thing is they got to get that video streaming. Everything else, it's pretty easy to do. But that's my opinion about it. And that's about it. And I'm going to go ahead and get back to work. I got to lot of stuff to do, but you guys take care.